Hey guys, this is Cooking with Kurt, and today I have a very special guest with me, Donald's dad, Mr. Lee Etheridge. Hi you two, how y'all doing? Donald's parents are visiting us from Dallas, Texas, and today we're going to show you how to make Texas-style fried mashed potato balls. Mm -hmm. They are good! To start off, we're going to make the mashed potatoes. Peel and dice about one pound of Idaho potatoes into half-inch cubes. Place the potatoes on a pot, add enough water to cover the potatoes, and bring this to a boil and boil for 15 minutes. While the potatoes are boiling, fry up strips of bacon until crisp. Let it cool, crumble up the bacon, and set aside. After 15 minutes, the potatoes should be done, which is when they're soft enough to easily pierce with a fork. Drain off the hot water and set the potatoes aside. Now in the same pot you have the potatoes boiling in, heat two tablespoons of butter or medium heat, add four cloves of minced garlic and one minced jalapeno. Ooh, that's good. Cook this for one minute until the garlic and jalapeno are fragrant. Mm. Then turn off the heat. Return the potatoes to the pot, then add a half a cup of sour cream and mash potatoes with the potato masher until it's creamy. Mix the crumbled bacon from earlier, half a cup of sliced scallions, one quarter teaspoons of ground black pepper, half a cup of shredded Mexican blended cheese, and finally add an egg and mix it all in. Now that the mashed potatoes are done, we're ready to make them into balls. These Texas balls? <laughs> Using a small scoop, portion balls evenly onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. We're going to chill these in the fridge for 30 minutes to harden a bit. Meanwhile, in three separate bowls, put flour in one bowl, panko breadcrumbs in the second, and whisk eggs in the third. Then, take the chilled potato balls and roll them into spheres. Then for each ball, coat it in flour, then the egg wash, then the panko breadcrumbs. Then coat it once more with the egg wash, and once more with the panko breadcrumbs. Put these in the fridge to cool while we wait to fry them. Now, heat three inches of vegetable oil in a wok on high heat. Make sure it is hot like Texas. <laughs> now work in the small batches, about four or five balls at a time. Fry them in oil about three to four minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Move them from the oil with a slider spoon. Put them on your paper towel to cool. Then you wait about two or three minutes for the oil to reheat so you can fry the next batch. When they're all done, top them with additional sliced scallions as garnish. You ready? Let's try one. Yeah. That looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. This is just like down home in Texas. <laughs> it's nice and spicy. Mmm. Love that jalapeno. Mr. Etheridge, thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you had fun. Had loads of fun. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make these Texas-style fried mashed potato balls. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. Now we're off to play ping pong. And I'm going to kick some Texas-style balls. And remember, y'all come back here. You heard him. Bye.